Dear listener, you're welcome to the audio library of Dunamis International Gospel Center. This message will communicate to you the principles, presence, and power of God that will transform your life and destiny. Dr. Paul is the senior pastor, Dunamis International Gospel Center, Abuja. Be blessed as you listen. Thank you. We praise your name, Almighty God. First Corinthians chapter six. First Corinthians chapter six, and we are here on that nineteen. Thank you, Jesus. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. God is here this morning. His presence is here this morning. His power is here this morning. His anointing is here this morning. Things will never be the same. Your life will never be the same. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which you have of God, and ye are not your own? For ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit which are God's. Read the grace. What? First Corinthians 6, 19. Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you which you have of God and ye are not your own, for ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Lift your right hand up and say, Lord, I receive your word in my spirit, in my body, in my soul. I receive the fruit of wisdom and understanding in the knowledge of you. Thank you, Lord, for your word in Jesus' name. Look at somebody and tell the person, I am a mobile temple. Now stand on your feet and walk to seven people and tell them, you are a mobile temple of God. You are a mobile temple of God. You believe that so loud, amen. You believe that so loud, amen. You believe that so loud, amen. That is what I'm preaching on in the very short moment. At the night of signs and wonders, you dealt with the rivers of God. And I told you by the Spirit of God in that night that the river of God is the person of the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. And we talked in that night, vision, if you are not there, put the faith we said that the river has two sources. And we talked about the river of the Holy Ghost coming out from the temple of the Lord and visiting the land. And we also talked about the river in them. Today, it is the river inside, the river within you, that we are talking about. You remember in the book of John chapter 7 from verse 36, the Bible says, in the last day of the feast, Jesus stood in the midst of the people. And he said, if anyone thirsty, let him come to me. He said, and out of his, he said, I said, and I will give him water to drink. And he said, and out of his belly shall flow rivers of living waters. The Bible says, this he spoke of the Holy Ghost, which day that believed in him to receive. For the Holy Ghost was not yet given because Jesus was not yet glorified. And so he was talking before the Holy Ghost came. And now the Holy Ghost has come. And many of us have been convinced by the Holy Ghost to give our life to Christ. And many of us have received the power and the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And now he said, 
that inside you is a river. Inside you is a person. The river of the Holy Ghost. That, that was why he said, No, you know. He's asking a question. Don't you know that your body, not just your soul, not just your spirit, but your physical body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which you have of God. And you are not the owner of yourself. You are bought with a price. The price, therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God. Are we here this morning? Are we here together this morning? I am going to consider this under three major, three major discussions this morning. And when we are through, we proceed into the ministration that we have this morning. The first thing that you must understand is that you are a house for God. Every human being that is born and alive was made and created to be a house for God. God made you to be a temple for Him. If you are not yet born again, you should understand that God does not really dwell in temples made of human hands, but He dwells in tabernacles that He made Himself. You are a house, a church. You are a working church. You are a working temple. You are a house in motion. Are we here this morning? You are a house in motion. You were created for divine occupation. You were created for divine habitation. You were created for divine, for divine inhabitant. You are a house. Say and tell me, I am a house. You didn't say it well. I am a house. I am the house of God. I am a house for God. Am I telling somebody here this morning? I am a house for God. I am a temple for God. I am, I am a church for God. Every time you see me, you are seeing a human church. Every time you see me, you are seeing a human being that is a church. You are seeing a human being that is a temple. You are seeing a human being that, that is, that is a, a house for the living God by the Holy Spirit. Your understanding of this thing this morning is going to revolutionize your life forever. I, 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 I you understand what I'm saying? It means that if God is inside me, everything God has is inside me now. If God is inside me, everything God can do can happen inside me now. The understanding of this mystery will make it impossible for Satan to play around your life. Are we, are we together here today? I'll take the matter gradually because I like it to enter into your spirit. Every, every system of your body, every organ of your body, every system, every cell, every leg, every axle, every vein, every tendon, every ligament, Every, 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 every department of your life, your spirit, your soul, your body, your finances, your spiritual life, your mental life, every department of your body is meant for divine occupation. It is an abomination for it to be a demonic habitation. Is somebody here this morning? Every cell of your body. You cannot sit there and say you have liver disease. You cannot sit there and say you have kidney failure. You cannot sit there and say there is HIV in your blood. For you know that every sickness is an evil force in one form or the other. It's an evil force. When there is a sickness in, in an organ, in a tissue, in a system, it is a physical habitation of a, of a negative disease that decided to take illegal occupation of a part of your body. Are you hearing me here this morning? And don't say that I made you to be my temple. When have light and darkness started dwelling together? When have the source of darkness and the source of light dwelling together? When did it start? When have God and Mammon began to live together? If you 
are the temple of God, then no devil can occupy your body. No devil can occupy your spirit. No devil can occupy your soul. No devil can occupy your cell. No devil can occupy your tissue. If you believe I shout it loud, amen. You believe I shout it loud, amen. You can stand over by your side and say, I am the temple of God. I am the temple of the Holy Spirit. This morning, you are not the temple of pain, you are not the temple of pleasure, you are not the temple of this idea, you are not the temple of tuberculosis, you are not the temple of nightmares, you are not the temple of systemic frustration. Your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, and the Holy Ghost alone has the right to dwell in your body. If you believe that, shall be yes, Lord. I am saying now, before I finish preaching, every devil has to jump out of your body. Every system has to run out of your system. Every affliction has to take off from your life. If you believe, shall you? Since when did this start? For cast and rap to live together in peace. Since when did this start? If a lion and, and God to be in the same house, since when did this start? This body is the house of God. There is no rich black liver that can stay here. Are you hearing me here today? There is no ancestral devil that can inhabit that body. There is no generational devil that has the right of occupancy in that body, your body, in the temple of the Holy Ghost. Only the Holy Ghost has the right to live there if you believe so, yes. God is not poor. He did not submit the house. When somebody has a house and he needs some money, he has time to decide to submit some room to some people so that he can get money gone. He's the owner of the universe, he says the earth is the Lord, and the fullness there of the castle and the thousand who it belongs to me, say the Lord, and if you understand what I am saying right now, you will not allow any devil to dwell even on one hair of your house. Stop your marriage. Don't you know that your body 
is the temple of the living God? What is that infection doing in that body? What is that growth doing in that body? What is that, that diagnosis doing in that body? What is that devil doing in that body? Know ye not? If the devil wants to help, he should go and build his own. Are you hearing me? Eh? If he wants to help, he should go and build his own. God wanted me. He created me. He's living inside me. Every devil in my spirit and spirit. Are you here this morning? I came here to baptize you with violence so you can be baptized with ruggedness, so you can be baptized with aggression, so you can show the devil the love out. Somebody shall go. Shall go. Shall go. In my life, you have no place. Time. I don't care how many people died in your family before their time, your case is a different case. I don't care how many people have been afflicted in your generation before their time, your case is a different case. The reason is because no need now that your body is the temple. If I were you, I would just shout a little bit. My body is the temple of the The reason why my, my, my body cannot crack is because there is somebody who owns the body. And the person is his responsibility for the maintenance of the structure. Is it not an irresponsible lifestyle to have a house, a house that you cannot maintain? Human beings maintain their house. Human beings paint their house. Human beings take care of the structure. And you are talking about the God of the whole earth? You are talking about the destiny engineer? You are talking about the ageless, strengthless, dialless one? You are talking about the one whose name is Jehovah Rapha. I am the God that heals you. I am the Lord, Lord God that repairs you. I am the God that mentors you. I am the one living in your body. You think I will see pain. I leave it in my house. I will see afflictions. I leave it in my house. I will see my house break down. I leave it and all the time. Somebody shall know. And you are going to walk like a stone. You are going to walk like an elephant. You are going to live like an evil to say. Because before you live here, every damaged part of your body has been repaired. Before you live here, any department of your life that is about to give way has been handled. Anything growing on your body that has not been permitted by the owner. It has been decided for the media. If I have believed, I shout a loud amen. If I have believed, I shout a loud amen. If I have believed, I shout a loud amen. That is why no thief can break into that house. The devil is the thief. The thief come up to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I am come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. No devil can break into that body. I told God one day, I said, Please, I beg you, give me an undefiled hatred. Undefiled. Pure virgin hatred. Against every form of evil and devil. No 
not just nearing me, but nearing anybody around me. Give me something, and that is what must be achieved today. You must, you must, you must acquire such a hatred, such a passion, such an anger against the devil, against the kingdom of darkness, that want to impose themselves in your life, you have to have nothing at stake in your life. Somebody here this morning? Mr. Right and say I am a mobile temple. Thank God I am a mobile mobile temple. Thank God that I am a mobile temple. I belong to God. I belong to the Holy Ghost. He owns my house. If you will share me with any devil, no devil is resting any part of my body. There is no development of my life that I will give to the devil. Devil, you have no place in my life. Let me just say loud amen. See that. Second point is you are bought with a price. You are not the rent. My life is not for rent. I am not for lease. I, 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 I am a property that has been sold. Are you hearing me? I am a property that has been rented and has been leased and I have been sold. Nobody now can arrive and ask how much. I am not, I am not available for the highest bidder. The highest bidder in the universe has purchased my life. He says, he bought me with the blood of Jesus. So I am not for sale. Are you just looking at me like that? When you are going to us, you come going to us at Tokoro. You say, for, for sale. You see some houses say, for sale. Others, they, they write, they say, for me or, or less, contact so and so person. Others, they say, outrightly, for sale. There is a sign board. For you and for me, there is no sign. The sign board has been removed. 2,000 years ago, on the cross of Calvary, when Jesus shed his blood and he paid the price, every for me, for less, for rent, for sale, sign of my loss has been lifted up. I am not for sale. And I need to stand on your feet, tell seven people, I am not for sale. I am not for sale. Somebody shouts fire. Somebody shouts fire. Somebody shouts fire. I don't know about you, but I am not for sure. And sensual devils can lose for what you to buy. But not me. You see some wizard. They can use for somebody but not me. I am fully occupied. Satan no backing. My life is a danger zone. Satan no backing. My life is a danger zone. Look at the neighbor. Take no back out to Look at me, we tell them no vacancy here, no vacancy here. No vacancy here, no vacancy here. Thank you. No vacancy. Just one more time. Thank you. My life is a danger zone. No vacancy. My life is a danger zone. No vacancy. Is somebody here this morning? Is there a vacancy in your life? Is there a vacancy in your body? Is there a vacancy in your liver? Is there a vacancy in your pancreas? Is there a vacancy in your heart? Is there a vacancy in your blood? In your spirit? In your, in your soul? In your body? In your finances? In your marriage? In your business? Somebody shall know! No vacancy! 
No department of my life is available. I don't know as I feel, but I, I won't even give him my card. One day the cat in our house died. And I had a hand in the death of the cat. Yes, because um, I'll tell you the truth. The cat was always looking for my food to eat. But if you kill a rat for him, he will eat it. He will be dwelling with, a, with rats and he will eat. So what's a decatified cat is this? Totally decatified. It's a miscat. <laughs> I don't know who decatified it, but it was not a cat. You catch a rat for him, you will run. You catch that. All of a sudden, they brought my food before you can say, Praise! He dies for the food. Heading straight for the meat. I carried it out. Get out of here, my friend. He hit his head on the wall and breathed his life. Say, my God, I have killed that shall not kill. <laughs> Lord, help me today. Let this cat live. My heart was so filled with compassion. And the devil would have used that thing against me because I have such a very tender heart. By God's mercy, I carried the bottle of oil and anointed the head of the cat. <laughs> The cat, you are not going nowhere. You must come back to life. <laughs> you are not going nowhere. In the name of Jesus, you open his eyes. <laughs> you know what I did? I escorted it out of the house. <laughs> Does anybody want to come? here. Say after me, the devil cannot do anything about me. Say it rather, the devil. Now say it to the devil. Say, devil! I am God's property. You can't do anything about me. You can't do anything against me. Because I am not your own. I don't belong to you. I am not in your camp. I belong to God. In case he's itching to do something about some, somebody, he should look for those that are under his jurisdiction. He should look for those that have sold themselves to Satan. You mean that I can give my life to Jesus Christ and get filled with the Holy Spirit and live a, a holy life, a righteous life, and serve my God and worship Him? And a devil from hell wants to attack me. That devil is not born anywhere. A witch from, from nowhere wants to frustrate my life and get through. That witch is a dead witch already. Are you here this morning? In case that is a big word for you. You have been designed, organized, orchestrated, galvanized. Galvanized. To advertise him. The purpose of your life is the advertisement of divinity. You are you are a mess to advertise, to publicize the goodness and the enlightenment of God. Such that when people see you, they can say, God, you are so good. Oh Lord. Somebody here who is going to have such a testimony. 
is to believe. Start, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. I believe, I believe. Not that you are walking on the road and people are saying, what a bad death. It will not happen after today. Glory to God. Advertise God. No, that, no department of your life is going to give notice to the devil. It's going to give recognition to the devil. It's going to, it's going to give recognition to Satan. Nobody can see an aspect of your life and hail the devil or make a comment about the devil. Glorify God. Am I speaking to anybody here? Lift your right and say, Baby, no devil. Say, Father, say, No devil. Shall get recognition in my life. Say, Father, say, No devil. Shall get recognition in my life. Say, Father, say, No devil. Shall get recognition in my life. No devil. I get any credit for my life if you believe I said yes, Lord. You are going to purposefully, determinedly let the devil know my life from now till I close my eyes in death. No aspect of my life shall give you credit. No aspect of my life shall draw people's attention to Satan. No aspect of my life, not my body. Nobody will look at me and look at my my, 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 my family and look at my, my finances and look at it and say, the devil is wicked. God forbid. Somebody say, God forbid. Nobody shall look at you and give credit to the devil. Listen, every demonic standard around your life now, I pull it down by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, every satanic and baptismal that is going on in your life now, I command it to be roasted by fire. In the name of Jesus, this is the name of God. I like to walk against God and walk to seven people. Tell them, no credit for the devil here. No credit for the devil here. No credit for the devil here. Is barren, we pull down that standard. The HIV, we pull down that message. They say, they say, they say, if you can't get married, we pull down that message. The property is ravaging you, we pull it down now. By the power, by the authority of the people, it is pulled down in the name of Jesus. Take your faith. How do you make the house of a big man? You are passing the summer and you saw one house on the hilltop. You can't even describe the structure. And you say, who owns this house? Say, Don't you know it's so and so person? When you go to Asher Rock, you will see some things you haven't seen before. Right? You will see some mysterious furniture that will amaze you. Right? When you, when you travel out and you go to the White House, you see some things that will amaze you. When you go to our own Asoko here, you will see structure. Structure that people have invested. So because property means that you are, you are his focus for investment. Don't you understand what I'm talking about? If human beings can put money inside structure, don't you know that the one who has silver and gold, the one who says the earth is the Lord, and the fullness we are you think you will spare any resources, you think you will spare any wisdom, you think you will spare any treasure, or you know, no, no, I am telling you that the authority of God, that somebody here is seated, from this moment God shall begin to spend his wisdom, spend his favor, spend his resources, in your life, in your destiny, if you believe that God in your crown. Talk to somebody say, I am a sensible. The person living inside me, they say, the, the one living inside me, is a very big person. Oh. 
Some of you, your wardrobe is about to change. The facial appearance is about to change. There is going to be smaller, there is going to be stable, there is going to be slender, there is going to be grander, there is going to be, 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 when people look at you, they will realize that somebody big is living inside. See, when you move from here to there, don't move like every other person. I know. Are they? They are just kind of just kept on dignified their blessing. My time is gone. <laughs> the way you are responding, you just want me to evaporate. But the time is gone. You know what I'm saying? Organize your life. You are not a nobody. You are not a man entity. You are not to say, you are not to be the victim. You are not to be the victim of the time grace. The God of the whole earth is inside your body. He is the owner of your life. And whenever you see me, talk about Jesus. He is the owner of my Look where. Talk where. Walk where. Have you ever seen a really big person? They don't walk anyhow. I don't know what I'm talking about. But you are bigger than the earthly big people. You want to know that the person that has one million, one billion dollars that does not know Jesus Christ, you are bigger than that person. Organize your life, that makes your Are we together here? Don't let anybody look down on you. Don't let anybody pity you. There are three people that are telling you today that you are overtaking them tomorrow. Because God is speaking to you, and I will take that stage. I'm not speaking to somebody here. You are very aggressive, my friend. You can somebody that I can say you are really aggressive. You can see me tell them I am very aggressive. Don't just talk to me anyhow, I am aggressive. <laughs> That is why you must not compromise your faith because of little tiny money. You are bigger than that. You are bigger, much, much, much bigger than that. You must not compromise the marry an unbeliever who does have one little leg just or one, 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 one pathetic uh, mini class. You are, you are bigger than that. You are more value than that. You are, you are greater in capacity than that. You are more heavy destiny than that. You are destiny and then so much bigger than what you Am I speaking to someone who said yes, no? Oh, when you look at me, don't think I'm proud. I'm only conscious of who is inside. Are we together here today? That is why there is no big man, how big he is in this world, that I will lie down for in terms of because of your money. I will respect you for age. I will respect you for position. But that is where it comes. I will never respect you. I will never lift up the law in the of any man. Because my God shall supply all my needs. I tell you that it is useful. <laughs> if you understand me inside you, if you wear one naira slippers, it will look like 100,000 naira slippers. If you understand me inside your body, if you wear a coat that you got from internet corner, here you have to browse and browse and browse. <laughs> I've been to the internet for the 
You browse and browse and browse and pick the correct <laughs> Even if you wear part of food and you eat inside you, it will be more colorful, more dignified. You will be more handsome, more beautiful than somebody who got it from Paris. You look like a devil is living. Sit down, let us go, let us go, let us go. You know that um, it's combined service and uh, we do not have the whole of eternity to finish this service. But my spirit is provoked. And I believe that there are people seated here for the next 20 years of your life. The devil will not be able to knock at the door. Because what he will suffer after today, he will never look back in your direction. He will never look back in your direction. I tell you what you will suffer after today if you believe I shall be most loved. See that, let me just wonder now. Since you are a temple, what, do you, what, what happens in the temple? That is what you will do to activate the one living inside you. The one living inside you is the Holy Ghost. He's the same, he's the third person of Trinity. What inside this church, what happens? Since you are the person you are in church, inside you are in church, what must happen? Number one is worship. The house must be a house of worship. Are you telling me what I'm saying? These are things you must do in order for the occupant of the house to take through the possession of his house. In order to frustrate every, every thief and every illegal alien. What do you do? Do we worship in Jerusalem? Or we worship on this mountain in John chapter 4? Jesus said, no, they are our comet. And if true worshippers shall worship God. Many of you do it in the morning, you wake up, you do two hours, three hours, or one hour, or thirty minutes, and that is the end to tomorrow. It is not so. It is not so. Let it as often, as often, and as frequently as, as, as the urge comes. Even when the urge doesn't come, worship him, because it is your duty to do so. When you worship him, he is magnified. Ah, Psalm 22 verse 2 says, For thou art holy, O thou that inhabitest the praises of Israel. When you worship him, he takes full possession. When you worship him, he takes full place. When you worship him, he says, I am around. That is the first thing you do. Number two, he says, My house shall be called a house of prayer. Matthew 21 13. But you have made it a den of peace. You are his house, and his house shall be called a house. A prayer. So you should be mobile prayer. Mo prayer in motion. Prayer. Prayer. <laughs> prayer. Mobile prayer. Pray without speaking. Thessalonians 5, 17, 18. Pray without speaking. Prayer does not mean I need food, I need car, I need house. Thanksgiving is part of prayer. If you make the house a house of prayer in truth, no devil can lie. it. If you make the house a house of worship, now even in the dream, a cockroach will not play with a hot stone. Supposing the cockroach was dreaming. And the third is hot. Set your life on fire. And I put set yourself, set your life on fire. Be sure that your spirit, your soul, and your body, you are on fire. On fire in worship, on fire in prayer. And when the devil is coming this way, he takes up another way. And especially prayer in the Holy Spirit. If you know how to pray in tongues, You are worthy, Lord. I pray in your holy name. If you know how to do that one, and you can do it alone. Wow. The devil has no place in your life. Am I speaking to somebody here? The third thing that we do in the house is what I am doing now. The ministry of the word. Let the word of God not leave the altar of that house. It is a good habit, brother. It is a good habit, my sister, to take one passage. At least, thank God we have a daily devotional that is guiding us. But that is a guide. It's a guide. Let a passage of the scripture rest on the altar of your house. 
what God is doing in my life, I place a scripture today in my heart, and I keep on meditating on it, and if I have not received everything that I need to receive, I am still on in that scripture. Place one word on the altar of your heart. When you worship, when you pray, when you, you minister the word, you are in real temple. And when you are in real temple, no devil will hear you. I prophesy to you by the anointing of the Holy Ghost that has been evident in this meeting from today. Every evidence of the family of the person of your body, every evidence of the family of the person of your mind, every evidence of the family of the person of your spirit, we command the evidence thank you forever. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for your peace, everybody. Yes, the seven other people tell them. I am his mother's temple. I am his mother's temple. I am his mother's temple. Do you believe that? Believe that said the Lord, Amen. Believe that said the Lord, Amen. Believe that said the Lord, Amen. Leave the house in worship. You are coming back to check a symbol. You are coming back to check a symbol. We do believe that you have been blessed by this message. To so place your order for audios and DVDs of our messages, please contact us at Destiny Bookshop beside the Old Federal Secretary Irwan Irki Abuja, Nigeria. Or call plus two three four eight zero double three two double zero three two zero plus two three four eight zero double three one double four five zero nine plus two three four seven zero four double zero seven four nine three zero or visit our website at www.dynamisgospel.org remember the devil is not in control god is in control <laughs> Back with just a simple